Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to draw a hydraulic actuator. Okay, so let's go for it. Let's make a rectangle and pad it 2 by 2, pad it as 1 mm. Here you go. Here's done. Let's go for the other side of the actuator. You draw a square in this area, central square. Let's put the dimensions. It's done. Pad it. Five mm. Again, a rectangle of two by two. Pad it one mm. Then let's draw the outer area of the actuator. Let's give the dimension of the circle. Mirror it. We'll both mirror on y axis. Then pad it, we'll pad it till the last surface. It's done. The base stand of the actuator is completed. Then we'll draw the bore of the actuator. We'll pocket it after giving the dimensions. Then let's draw the extra accessories of the actuator. One mm. This is where the actuator is going to be fixed in a particular machinery. So let's try it. Let's make like curvy both sides. It's done. Let's draw a circle where the nut and bolt is going to be fixed. For the actuators on both sides, we'll pocket it now after giving the dimensions as 0.5. Pocket it, done. Let's make the extra accessories. Which the liquid is going to move through the actuator in and out. We'll save the part. Next module, create a different part, take the dimension, how the part is going to be applied, what are the length of the part. Keep watching this video, I'm gonna show you each and every step for the actuator. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel.
channel and like my video. Pentagon Coincidence Tangency Then the Horizontal Then we will delete the circle And this is our nut is going to look like 1 mm 0.5 mm 3 mm Yeah it's perfect This is how our nut is going to look like of the axle tool. Thirty degree. And we'll groove it. Mirror it for the next part. Done. We make a circle here. Pocket it. Nut is completed. Then we'll save it. Time to assemble all the parts. Let's assemble. Let's put on the part, every part on each side. Let's put all the part in its right place. Let's make the extra adjustments and we'll save it. That filter is looking like this. We'll make the bore of the actuator. Two. Eight 
in which the pressure is going to move forward in a unique direction with the help of this element. Pocket it, save it, move to our assembly window. We'll give the colors. We use the stickers. It's done. Now we are making some adjustments. It's done. Now it's time to render. This is how our actuator is going to look like. We'll render it now. Let's check it out how our actuator is going to actually look like after rendering. Wow, the colors are coming and it's looking so beautiful. So guys, like, subscribe this channel and hit a like on this video if you like this video. And we'll meet with the next exciting video. Till then, stay tuned with Design Hub Tutorials.